Welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at the KZ EDX Ultra. So not the latest member in the KZ family, but uh, one that I skipped a bit earlier, and then I ended up winning one on a Facebook giveaway. So here it is. So this is what it looks like up close. It's got this uh, pretty nice looking uh, faceplate, a metal little inset, kind of resin shell. It is a single dynamic driver, and it does have this sort of new damper slash mesh material that KZ has been using uh, lately um, on some sets. So box is pretty typical KZ. So if we just take a quick look at the graph, we can kind of see how the EDX family has sort of evolved and kind of what went wrong with EDX Ultra. So base level, EDX Ultra is in red. So we had EDX Pro, which was the previous EDX one, which actually bumped up the base quite a bit. Um, people tended to like that one. EDX, the regular EDX, not too bad on the base level. It was actually up there as well. But with EDX Ultra, it's sort of, I mean, this is Harman-ish. This is sort of the new KZ Harman-ish kind of sound, where it's Harman, but it's definitely bumped up a little bit in the, in the mid-bass area. Kind of don't, the mids are kind of very similar to uh, other EDXs and other recent KZ sets. But this new, when we look at the very lower treble here area and this kind of two to four area, you can kind of see how KZ has evolved over time with EDX starting out as maybe the shoutiest, peakiest version of the family. And then you can kind of see what they did with EDX Pro and they actually added a little more damper material and brought these two peaks down a little bit more and then now with edx ultra you can kind of see they actually brought this area down quite a bit so lower base kind of nice mids and a lower kind of pin again area they were sort of setting themselves up for a very nice set here and then you know sort of right after this 8k bit i'm not sure why they um, added all this extra upper trouble here it's a uh, very kind of annoying for me to listen to edx pro actually had a very similar sound to it um very upper treble a lot of air it sounds quite artificial to me um i'm not sure what what they were doing with that um it was all good up until that bit and that bit really throws off everything else here so for me i think kz has released lots of um really nice sets lately um, EDX Ultra is not one that uh, I would say is in that family, but uh, some people tend to like it. It, it just sounds quite over-sharpened. Um, let's see what, what my notes uh, say here. So it's got that Ultra Air sound to it. Um, some people tend to like that. It, maybe it sounds uh, quite detailed, airy, but to me it just sounds too much. It sounds very fast. A lot of the small micro details are kind of lost because the thing is kind of so fast and so over boosted in that area and it has this very much artificial ultra digital sound to it it very much doesn't sound too too natural too analog it sounds very digital um it's a little hard to explain but it's not all that pleasing to me it sounds a little over sharp very artificial and the second thing is they really kind of botched the stage on this one and it went really really small and as I said, KZ has released some really great sets re recently, and some of them have bigger stages, some of them are smaller stages. The EDX Ultra is probably the smallest one that I've heard from KZ in a while. It's, um, it's noticeably small, and uh, it doesn't really add anything to the set. And in fact, it, it detracts a lot from the sound, which is always, you know, it already is a little bit weird, and then have a small stage to it. Um, this one ended up being quite sterile sound to me. There's just no joy there for me. So that's what I got on EDX Ultra. Um, feel free to listen to other reviews. Uh, lots of people tend to like this one. For me, I'll call it a no, but uh, definitely uh, look around and see what other people said about it. So again, thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you next time.